In a previous video, which I'll link somewhere up here, I talked about partial indexing on partition tables, the ability to have indexes only on certain partitions and therefore not the entire table. But what if you've got a unpartitioned table or a non-partitioned table? What if I want to have partial indexes on just some of the data on a non-partitioned table? Can it be done? It can be, but with a slightly different variation on a theme. To do that, we use a function-based index. Why do I use a function-based index? Because we can take advantage of one particular element about the Oracle B-Tree index implementation, and that is that entire null keys are not indexed. If all the elements of a key, if it's one column, just the one column, if it's three columns, if all three columns are null, then that row in the table never makes it into the equivalent index structure. We can exploit this to come up with a concept of partial indexing for a non-partitioned table. Let's consider an example of orders or transactions, things that come in from customers that we have to send out to them. In this case, I'm doing a count for my orders table, and I can see that I've got about 80,000 orders that have already been shipped, their status is shipped, and I've got about 80 orders that are ready to be shipped. There's probably other statuses, but we'll keep the example nice and simple. In reality, if I'm a good retailer, the number of shipped rows will continue to grow because I want to send lots of orders to my customers. But the idea is to keep the number of ready orders very, very low because the more time those orders sit with me in my warehouse, the longer customers are waiting for their orders to arrive. Typically, I'm going to want to query orders with a particular status, so I'm going to have an index on the status column on my table. If I query all the shipment status with ready, which I know is only 80 rows, notice the database has picked a table access full. This is because by default, the database assumes an even distribution of values. I've got 80,000 rows, I've got two distinct values, I'm going to get about 40,000 or 50% of the rows for each status. And that's easily fixed. The database will probably build its own frequency histogram on the data after a while, or I could explicitly do it here. I simply create a histogram so the database knows the distribution of the various shipment statuses. Now when I am on my query, I can see that the database now knows there's about 80 shipment statuses of ready and correctly chooses the index to do that. At which point you think, problem solved, I don't have to do any more work. However, if I look at the size of that index, it's 140 leaf blocks, a block being 8K in size. Now this table is obviously small for the sake of this example, but in a realistic situation, Effectively, that maps to an index leaf block for every row in the table. Why? Because we are still indexing the shipped rows. And over time, the number of ready rows will stay fairly constant. In fact, hopefully drop to near zero. The number of shipped rows will continue to grow and grow and grow, possibly into the millions or billions even. We're going to have a massive, massive index, even though the only query we're ever interested in is getting those 80 ready rows. We can exploit that by manipulating the index. I'll drop the index and create a new version of the index which does case when shipment status equals ready, then Y. I could return anything, I could return the shipment status itself, but I'm just returning Y here on the presumption that I'll only ever be interested in those particular ready rows and no other status. In order to exploit that function-based index, I need to adjust my application code to use the same expression that is in that function-based index. So I've changed my code, select star from orders where case when shipment status equals ready then y equals y. And notice it's still using the index because it's now a function-based index. But look at the size of my index. It's a single leaf block, way down from 139. The only rows I'm indexing are the ready status. It doesn't matter how big my table gets, it doesn't matter how many rows have a shipment status of anything other than ready, I'll only ever index a subset of the rows, in this case just the 80 ready rows. That makes the index very small, it never gets large, it never hurts my backups, it never hurts my optimizer stats gathering routines, it is a perfectly tuned index for this particular application requirement. The drawback here, obviously, is that I had to change my application code in order to pick up that function-based index. But there are some mechanisms you can exploit to mitigate against this. I could use a virtual column. In this case, I could add a virtual column that represents the expression, 
the case when shipment status equals Y. I could even then index that virtual column as opposed to indexing an expression. Now I simply do select star from orders where my virtual column equals Y. I may even be able to alter my application in such a way that that virtual column becomes the shipment status column and the original shipment status column gets stored under a new name. In that way, application queries wouldn't have to change at all, and the only thing it would need to change with the DML it inserts into that table. So there are various options there using invisible columns, virtual columns, etc., that you can mitigate the amount of changes you'll need to do and still take advantage of the benefit of partial indexing on non-partition tables.